This is the commentary for a previously posted video. We just watched a set of stars end credit promos, bumpers, and extras that aired during the end credits of the film Miracle in 2004. Included were promos for upcoming Stars Saturday premieres, interviews with the Miracle cast in a segment called Stars Extra Credits, a promo for next week's Saturday premiere, and a tease for what's next on Stars. Stars and Encore channels often treated a movie's end credits as promotional space. They would run info bars at the bottom of the screen and windows featuring promos, scheduled info and other information. At one point, they began airing little features like what we saw in this video. The content was often similar to what you might get with the bonus content on a DVD. Stars called these features Stars Extra Credits, and they were designed to keep viewers tuned into the channel during a movie's end credits. As we all know, end credits can go on for minutes and minutes, and people often tune out when they appear on the screen. The Stars Extra Credits gave viewers a reason to stay, and the feeling they were getting something extra that they could only get with their subscription to Stars and Encore. In this video, we saw a tease for the Stars Extra Credits, followed by a long promo for Stars Premieres, which shows just how effectively Stars utilize the time to promote their own channel before the extra content. The Stars Extra Credits were for the 2004 film Miracle from Walt Disney Pictures. The film stars Kurt Russell and was based on the true story of the success of the 1980 U.S. Winter Olympic hockey team under the leadership of Coach Herb Brooks. The film was considered to be a a modest success at the box office, earning $64.5 million against a budget of $28 million. It was also a critical success with a current score of 81% at Rotten Tomatoes. Stars Extra Credits primarily featured on-set interviews with primary cast members and crew. In this video, we saw more of a behind-the-scenes making-of video featuring interviews with the film's director, Gavin O'Connor, Kurt Russell, and many of the younger stars who played hockey team members. In many of the interviews, they talk about how authentic the production was trying to be with the story and with depicting the sport of hockey. After the Stars Extra Credits, there was a second shorter promo for next week's Stars premiere, followed by an Up Next bumper. I really like how Stars presented these extra credits after some of their movies. I know they probably did these mainly to retain audience and give them a reason not to click away from the channel, but I think they also did a pretty good job choosing interviews and clips that were pretty interesting. Well, those are my comments for this video. If you like these retro videos, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and leave a comment. All these things really help the channel. Keep watching for more retro videos like this and other retro themed videos like Retro Talk. Take care of yourself and look out for others. Talk to you later. Bye. This was the commentary for a previous video. For the full video, click the link on the left. For another video, click on the right. Take care of yourself and look out for others. Talk to you later. Bye. This video brought to you by stockagogo.com stock photos.